Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this and this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. <laughs> Beautiful day in the bay, and we're glad to have you back. We are looking across the bay right now, starting from our downtown area, and all the way across to where it all began. Back over in this space over here, this is an area that was featured in episode one. And episode one featured Leggett's Curve, which is this area on the kind of the right side of the screen, and the Consular District over there. Now, you know, we fiddled around and we were learning how to play the game. It was a bit of a sandbox, episode one was. And I learned how to put in residential and build these curved roads and put in this little, this little seaside key wall down here and even put in some of these row homes down in here. We dotted in a few services like the cemetery back here, a high school, a welfare office, radio mast, uh, police station, fire department, all that good stuff. And then we built out this kind of the, the skeleton, if you will, the bones, if we call it the consular district. Now that area will rise to prominence as the game goes on, but that's for another day. What I want to focus on today is the area just to the west of Leggett's Curve, something you guys haven't really seen before. And I used to call this, uh, I actually do call it off-camera flats. <laughs> and the reason I call it off-camera flats is it's an area that I built off-camera in between episodes of, let's call it episodes three and episodes five. And the reason that it exists there was just a sandbox area where I can do, you know, play around with some techniques and so forth, but it also served a greater purpose. And that purpose was in episode three, we built this, and that was Roughneck Isle. We dropped in a ton of industry in the city. We just put a whole bunch of stuff in here, and I was just learning how to, how to build industry in this episode and really take advantage of the new game and mechanics. And what I did was I created a bit of a crisis in the process. I created all these jobs and I had no people to work in them. <laughs> so we used to see a ton of abandonment going on in here and collapsing buildings. So in my haste, in between episodes three and five, I came back over here and I just said, let's spam down a bunch of residential just to get people in place. Now, you know, it's not how you would normally build a city. And I will tell you that it's not how I normally build a city. But in learning the game, you know, I had to make a few little, um, yeah, let's call them shortcuts. <laughs> So my intent today is to take this out. I want to make better use of this space. And I'm gonna start with this area, just everything that's west of this big main road here that kind of connects into this roundabout. And I'll show you why. We've got this whole Western half of this island here that's available for us to develop. And I've got some really great plans for what it is that I wanna put out into this space here. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And then you can see this freeway that kind of runs down along here from uh, from right to left. It's that, you know, kind of dead ends here. I want to ultimately connect that back to the mainland with a hop, skip and a jump with these, you know, using these islands, if you will, as um, little stepping stones. And so, you know, we've got some uh, some really cool design elements that we're going to do in this space. Got a lot of work to do in there. And the best way to do that is to start clearing it all out. Yeah, erase, if you will, some of all of the you know, the early learning, if you will. Okay. Well, I just threw a ton at you guys and, you know, I'm really excited about this build. I hope you guys are too. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right. Now that we're out of photo mode and kind of into the real workings of the game, let's jump on in here. This section of town, as I mentioned, is called Off Camera Flats, and it's been named that for a little while. It's just kind of been sitting here. We've got about 6,500 residents in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to tear all of this out. Now, our city population, as you can see, is just shy of 72,000 residents. It's going to decline, well, by probably 6,500 residents, certainly in the short term. And then, of course, in the long term, you know, I'm hoping it'll grow back a little bit. Now, as we do this, as we tear this all out, we're going to free up new areas for development. And my intent is to come in and use a lot of the new beachfront properties content that we just got um, that just launched the other day. So we'll come in and we'll build some low density beach properties. I'll probably even dot some of those into the Leggett's Curve area and Planners Park. And, you know, who knows, maybe even points beyond. I might you know, go over into the Yacht Club. That seems like a great place to put in some uh, beachfront properties down in there and you know, kind of work our way throughout the city. Um, the intent is to let's take advantage of those new assets. And then, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, we've got so many great possibilities for this area out here. So, you know, for today, let's just go ahead and jump on in. Why don't you guys sit tight? I'm going to start the grim task of <laughs> evicting a lot of residents.
No, okay, there. <laughs> wow. Oh, terrible. Look at our population. It's all the way down to 65,000. <laughs> and dropping, by the way. Well, that's not great. But it is what it is. And it was, like I said, it was a kind of a necessary step for us to get through to a point where now we can really start to take advantage of this space. Um, I'm probably going to come in here and, you know, maybe connect this road up to here, take out that little roundabout there, just kind of tidy some things up along the way. I'll do that off camera. But that's a good start. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is let's focus on some infrastructure. And we need to do that because we need to put some things in place to help this area grow. And I want to focus on the first piece, which is our highway here. This highway comes in from, you know, from the right side. And then I want to bend that highway and bring it up along here. And then to this point here, and maybe jut a little causeway out there and then have another causeway come out from over here and then have a nice low lying curvy bridge that runs all the way out across to the other island. And then the next thing I want to do after that is come in here with these rail lines. Now you've got two rail lines, the one on the left that comes out of Gateway Village, this depot over here. And I want to continue that right along and put in a passenger rail line right in this space here. The second line on the left, that's our cargo rail line that comes from Roughneck Isle. And I want to continue that along and drop that into this little space right in here that ultimately should sit between a, a freeway and this roundabout here. And oh, let's get rid of off-camera flats. Just a terrible reminder. So let's uh, let's dive in with this freeway here. Actually, let's start on this end over here. We're gonna we're gonna prepare the land here, do a little terraforming. Now, before I start to put this bridge in, I want to make sure that I'm respecting all of the natural resources. And as I recall, we've got some. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of farmland right in here. And I wanna I wanna protect that if I can. I wanna use that at some point. So at least kind of gives us some guidelines that. I'll you know, make sure that we steer out of there. And then I'm gonna grab a level terrain tool. I'm gonna to come in about five contour lines, I guess they call them, from the, uh, you know, from, from the water's edge. Let's see if I can bend that around this little rise here. Yeah, and then maybe I'll come out with, um, you know, just kind of come out with a little bit of a causeway. And then we're gonna take the same elevation over here on this side. And we're just gonna work that into this space here as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then that allows us to take our highways, grab a three lane, one way highway, come over here. And I think the first thing I want to do is I probably just want to go in with, you know, like a continuous curve and make sure that I'm creating kind of a, a guideline for me to land these bridges on. I'll come down like so. And then I'm going to bend that around that farmland. Yeah, just as a placeholder for now. Now I can come out and uh, bring this up to five meters. So I'll, I'll come out like so, and then make it up to here. So it'll be five meters. Now I've got a place from which I can stem this uh, little low rise bridge, if you will, out there. And so I'm gonna take a complex curve now and come right out of here. Let's see what we've done. Yeah, it's a nice little low rise bridge that comes out here. Now it makes its way across the, uh, the little channel here. And it ties in nicely with that. So I think we've got a good start there. Yeah, I like that. So now let's spin around here and work on connecting this freeway to that freeway over there in the distance. And we'll do so by, let's see, let's grab a slope terrain tool and pick that elevation, do a little grading. And then um, I'm gonna come in here and dig out a little bit of a trench. So we're gonna take uh, maybe one contour, whoops, <laughs> one contour line below that and just um, kind of dig this out a little bit. Let's come back to this freeway that's sitting over here. I want to cut this back just a little bit because I want to change the angle of approach. Yeah, that should be good uh, because I think if I take um, a freeway here and turn on our parallel road mode, turn off all these snaps here and kind of aim for, I don't know, the corner, if you will, of that piece there, I think this could make for an interesting look to our freeway. Yeah, that should be good for now. And now I got to bend this back up into here. So let's um, let's start that process. I want to do a slope terrain, come down in here and just work this down in. I think that'll be cool. And uh, now I can take the uh, freeway piece here, turn off our parallel road, and then just kind of run straight on out. There we go. Oh, now let's connect this end over here. Can we do so with a complex curve that looks good? Let's see if we can do it. 
yeah, I think I like that. And then, um, yeah, I think my intent is to build an interchange here, just a simple one that gets this couplet over the top of the freeway here and then maybe connect some, you know, make some connections back in there. But all in all, I think that's a good start for our, you know, for our freeway. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move these things out of the way because they're kind of in the way of us building our train station out. All right, so let's these down into here maybe yeah that's perfect let's build out our little grid here where we want our train station to lay in because i'd like to ultimately have a train station that might have a maybe a bus with it you know bus little bus station with it yeah something like that so let's go from here we'll just draw out uh, let's go out um 72 meters we'll bring it all the way across over to here and then we're gonna come back into this spot here We'll go out 72 meters there. Well, we'll just draw it out here and we we'll, can always cut it off. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing here in this corner. And now let's put in a train station. There we go. Center that up. Okay, so now we've got a train station in that spot. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to come over here with the level terrain tool and uh, just kind of come in here and force this, force this elevation through here. Because what I ultimately want to see is just a little bit of a, a little bit of a bridge that comes right over this main road here. So we're going to toggle our parallel mode on and bring this up about five meters. Turn off our snap to guidelines and just um, can I get closer even? Yeah, down here, just right over that main road there. Now let's trim these back here because we're going to have to connect the end of that. We're gonna to have to extend these right over into that station over there. I'm gonna start by connecting the outer line to this outer line over here. So let's just take a look and see what that looks like. We're just gonna run straight out of here, just as a placeholder. Um, and then from there, I can take a curved road here, railroad, just run right out here until maybe there, and then bend that right in. And that little um, that little rail line there on the outside part of our station is going to act as a bypass because I don't plan on expanding this station and that'll carry our cargo line right over into the space for our cargo uh, train station. Now let's see here. Let's take these other two these other two lines here and I'm going to turn off this snap to zone length and go right out of the middle of that. Bring this out straight to 128. We'll do the same thing over here. 130. Close enough. And then we're going to want to combine those into a double train track, say right around in here somewhere. Snapped his own length, and I'm going to come out in this direction and connect that in to this right up here. There we go. And now we can thread these two into this line. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now let's connect back up to our regular lines, or our initial lines that came out of here. Yeah. Okay, great. Now we've got both of those lines connected in and the rail line looks nice and nice and smooth. I like it. Okay. Now we'll turn our attention on putting in our cargo station. Now, before we put our train station or our cargo station in here, let's uh, do a little level terrain. I'm going to bring this out so it's a lot closer to the freeway. Oh, almost got hit by an airplane. Uh, and then we're going to take a train cargo terminal and you can see that the train runs out of the the right side of that building which is good that's good we're going to just drop this into this space say maybe right about here yeah that should be fine and then i can bend this rail line into there so let's just take a uh, double train track come out of here there right out of the center there i'll run out to here at 180 degrees curve there. Now we've got the rail line connected into the cargo rain, rail terminal. And we can come back in here now with a road. I think I want to take a one-way road here. And then I'll cut a four-lane road, come right off of this, and bring it straight across if I can. There. There we go. All right. And then uh, I can change that road to a two-lane, like so. And then just build a nice little loop coming around here. Now we've got a nice little loop there for our cargo rail station to work. And we've got cargo train service now in uh, 
you know, in this part of the island, which is, I think, going to be really helpful. Okay, so with all the uh, rail assets in play, let's go over here and do something fun. I had so much fun building our first tunnel, the Bay Pass Tunnel. I really was looking forward to doing this next one too, which is the Ocean's Gate Tunnel. And that's going to run underneath here, this little strait of water here, and then reemerge over here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to come over into here and I need to build a nice artificial man-made kind of a platform for that tunnel to emerge. All right, sit tight while I do that. Okay, so now with that in place, we can come in and tear out all of these gravel roads because we're not going to need them any longer. They were just nice little placeholders for us to build up our little retaining walls. And we can start the process uh, coming in here with our pavement path. And we're going to set that on parallel mode, do it four spaces out, bring it up again, 2.5 meters, come out. Let's just come down 36 meters here. And then what I want to do is I want to turn off my parallel mode, measure across here. What is that, 35? Okay. So let's come down here, 36 meters, come across 35, bring it back up. And now we've got the channel here for our uh, our tunnel enclosure. Now I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this and run this wall up to uh, maybe about here or so. I'll run this back across, connect over to there, and back down we go there. And now I want to pick an elevation that is uh, down below down below sea level. So I'm going to shift terrain down just a little bit and grab an elevation that's say two contour lines below sea level. Just set this in here and now I can slope down to that. So let's pick an elevation here. Just begin our slope process. Bring that down. There we go. And now let's drop in our freeways. So a three lane freeway going in this direction. We're going to um, start at a zero elevation. In fact, I'm going to turn off all of uh, all the snapping except for this snap to guidelines. I'll turn off that, I guess, too. We're just going to have to freeform it. And maybe about there, parallel road, come down into here. Uh, let's go down, down, down. We're going to take this down to about negative 17. Let's just see if we can get to that point. 17 and a half. I think that's going to be about right. Let's make sure it's nice and straight. Bang. We drop that in there and now let's just extend it out just to see what we've got. All right, let's turn around and take a look. Yeah. So it mirrored up pretty well here with that, uh, you know, with that enclosure there. Yeah. So I, I like the way that that's shaping up. We can come in here now and just um, set our brush size down nice and low. Come in here and flatten that out. Maybe try and clean up the approach, if you will, into that tunnel. Yeah. And I think it'll look great. All right. So now let's go over to the other side and tackle that one. Okay. So now that we're on this side, let's come back in here and replicate that technique. We're going to go into parallel road mode here, or parallel mode for our sidewalk. I'm just going to come out here, maybe about so far. Whoops. I need to get that out four and just draw this line all the way out here till the end of this little causeway section. And then I can come in over here and connect that, draw this out here as far as it'll go. And then we're gonna have to kind of eyeball it on this end. Um, I think we're about, maybe about this far out. I'll draw this line out here just so I can connect to there, but now come back the other way, doing it that way. Yeah, and that's pretty squared up, I think. We'll just connect this to that, and we're in good standing. So now we need to pick an elevation where we wanna have our road. And I'm gonna use shift terrain. I'm gonna bring it down to about somewhere in here and pick an elevation that's at about sea level. Eh, maybe right about there and just draw this right straight across. Now I'll come back in with my path again and see if I can connect across there without engaging bridge, but keeping the retaining wall. Yeah, that did that, that's great. And now we can come back in here and carve this out. So we're gonna have a slope terrain tool. We're gonna to use this elevation down here at the bottom and we're gonna just push this down until it meets. Yeah, good. That should create a nice gentle descent down into the uh, into the into the tunnels there. So with that in place, now we can come back in here and connect our freeways. So I'm going to grab a freeway here and uh, go into parallel mode. I want to line it up with this existing bridge, but I don't want to engage with that bridge. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that, oops, let's come down here. 
And the reason I'm doing that is I just want to try and create a nice gentler slope. So we had to come down here and then come down. I think it was about 17 and a half or so, 17 and a half meters. Let's just back that off. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then we've got a nice gentle decline coming down there and uh, I can fill that in nicely there. All right, so now let's figure out how to connect that back to our bridge over here. Yeah, that should be a, that should be a challenge. So I wanna do so in a way that doesn't give me kind of a radical looking you know, angle coming in here. So I think what I'll have to do is uh, maybe grab the elevation down in here and angle down into the water like so. Now we're just experimenting here, guys. We, uh, we're trying to figure some things out mechanically with the game. So let's just see if I can now take this freeway bridge and bring that back up to, I think it was at five meters. Yeah, I come from here and I wanna get a simple curve, come out 180 degrees. There it is, 180, and then bend that down in here and connect into here. Will that do it? Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, so there's a nice connection that runs right straight down into that tunnel and that tunnel makes its way uh, over to the other side. And now we can connect it. So let's go back underground and get back to our negative 17.5 meters. We're gonna come out using a complex curve. We're gonna go all the way out into here. And the reason I wanna use a complex curve is because we're not perfectly aligned on this side here. So I just want to be able to have a gentle serpentine underwater here that will connect over to here. Well, let's put it there for right now, and then we'll just see if we can figure out how to connect underneath here. There it is, we did it. That wasn't hard at all. Okay, so now if you look in there, the tunnel is not flooded out. Very nice, very nice. Go to the other side, go to the other side. Is it flooded out? It's not flooded out. There we go. We've got our tunnel portion completed. All right, cool. It's starting to take shape. All right, so the next thing we're gonna need to do is connect this side of the tunnel back to this freeway over here. And I wanna do that by, first of all, coming out here. I wanna run this out just a little bit further, this, um, this little ridge out here. And then I wanna pick an elevation that's maybe not very deep. Just bring that out to say here, create a nice slope from here down to there. And the reason I wanna do that is I think it'll help with um, just the game mechanics when bridges run into the water. So uh, we'll grab our freeways and we'll take a three lane and we're gonna just run right out here into the water and see what happens. And then I want to, before I you know, do too much further here, I wanna come over in here and find maybe a little spot where I can put this intersection right in here. So I think right coming through here would be the right place to go. So let's capture this elevation here and then try and match that up maybe right over here somewhere, kind of right up against this ridge. Now that's aggressive. Uh, we'll just take this and slope this up to it. Yeah, okay, we can tidy it up. Let's get that freeway into that little notch there and we're gonna go here. We'll come out a little straight section again for a ways and then we're gonna have to bend this in here. I like the way that that's shaping up, but now we can form a nice little trumpet interchange right in this space here. All right, so let's start the beginnings of our trumpet interchange. I wanna create a bridge that uh, just comes right up over the top of this. Yeah, something like that. And I can downgrade these to two lanes. And now I wanna connect this into here. I'm gonna downgrade these roads to two lanes. And then I can build my access road. There you go. Now you've got an interchange out here on the outside of town, and we've now got service running from the edge of town through the 
Ocean's Gate Tunnel all the way back to our island over there. <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right, this feels like a really great place for us to jump in and start doing a beautification time lapse. Got a lot of work to do, and, and I'll start you by just taking a look at this thing over here. Um, I like the way this is shaping up, but I've got some really good ideas for how I wanna beautify that up. Maybe drop in a nice larger asset in this space, just kind of give it some more prominence. And then we're gonna tidy up the um, seawall here and so forth just to make it look a little nicer and then jumping back down over here um, I want to get in here by this train station and put in a bunch of commercial down in here maybe some offices uh, let's relocate that campfire site or maybe just get rid of it entirely oh and then I had all of these extra larger buildings that I had stashed over here on Dean Street we're gonna move those back over into this space down in here somewhere probably um, grab that elementary school and double it up back to back with this other one just to create a nice big campus and then down in this space, um, I think maybe we'll take that cargo train terminal and nudge it out closer to the freeway here. Because I think, you know, if you have a cargo terminal, you probably should have a bunch of industry around there. And I just want to create a little pocket in here for us to um, to build some industry. And then uh, we should probably also run this couplet road up over this uh, over this freeway here. So, you know, just lots of little uh, odds and ends to tidy up here. Um, I want to make sure that I, I get in some more of those, um, you know, beach properties, the, the new expansion, I should say, put in some of those beach properties, you know, in throughout Leggett's Curve and then probably, oh, other places in the city back in the Yacht Club and Hickory Heights and so forth. So, you know, just a lot of stuff. So <laughs> it's going to be a little bit. All right. Well, why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse. Let's meet back up here afterwards and we can recap our sculpture.
welcome back, and I give you the all-new Planners Park and Ocean's Gate Crossing. Wow, what a build this turned out to be. And it was a lot of fun. It was kind of great to come back in here and reclaim some land that just really wasn't being used in a very efficient manner. And I think the end result was really pretty cool. All right, there's so much to jump into, guys, so I'm going to just take it away here. You know, as we recall, we started off over here with our off-camera flats area, and we just tore all that out there. As a re reminder, that was just a sandbox for us. Oh, we were doing some experimenting in there and getting our population up in the city just to help support the early game. But we removed all of that now and uh, relocated all the valuable assets. And then we jumped down into this space here, and we took advantage of this existing road here to use that as kind of a network guideline for our passenger rail train. And our passenger rail train sits down here, you know, running parallel to that street there. And it's got a lot of little shops and maybe some big shops and even some offices that are kind of up and down the side here. It's connected off into the distance with Gateway Village and then off the map, way off with a, uh, an entirely different city. So we've got great train access coming in and out of uh, in and out of Planners Park. And then I put in a little bus station down in here too. It's got one, two, three, four little station terminals. And you know, we've got it set up for future growth and development. Right now I'm only using two of those little stations and I could even consolidate that into one at a later date. But uh, we've set ourselves up so that we can get bus connectivity all around in the area back to this train station. Now, speaking of train stations, we did have our cargo terminal that we put in as well down in this space. Originally, I had it a little bit closer in, but I decided to nudge it down closer to the freeway, free up some space in behind it, and put in some more industrial buildings back there. And I really like the way that that turned out. So it's you know got a good prominent location. I changed the uh, flow of the track as well so that it's got its own unique track, a little separate from the passenger line. And we just don't have to worry about bottlenecking now with the passenger lineup. Now, as I mentioned, I removed some of those old assets and put them into new locations here. You can see one of our elementary schools down in here. We maintained our high school. Uh, we put the welfare office down here along with the, uh, the broadcast tower, the radio mast. We put our fire station in here nestled between a couple of plazas. And then over here is where we dropped our, our little police station, which is you know, nicely sitting right up above the freeway, kind of in this little space along the railroad tracks. We put some offices down along the freeway, as you can see here, this nice high-rise tower that, that juts up above the freeway and a lot of low-rise businesses in there as well. And then one of the things that we did that was really fun was just decorated this roundabout. There was an existing roundabout there that wasn't quite centered. And so I wanted to do a little bit of manicuring on this space and just bring it up to, you know, maybe our standards here in Pangasas Bay. And I think that turned out lovely. Now, as you make our way out along this couplet, you come to our intersection that we built out here, which just gives us another way to get in and out of the space. And then we can make our way down along the shore here and across this little bridge to our southern tunnel entrance. And you can see it's very similar to the one that we put in the Bay Pass Tunnel over when we built out episode 12. Uh, it's got a very similar form and functionality, but what it does do is it sets us up for future development on this island out here. You can see I've got a nice little uh, broad boulevard that can make its way in here. We could build this out quite nicely. Not sure what to do yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Now for our top five design element. Yeah, the star of the show. <laughs> That's our northern tunnel entrance. Our northern tunnel entrance featuring the NASA Noila unique building and I love that. It just serves as a great watchtower and entrance piece that, you know, you can see all the cargo ships and the cruise ships coming and going as they make their way into Pangasus Bay, you know, from points beyond. And I think that turned out to be a great showpiece, really eye-catching in this space. And we added a few little buildings down in here just to kind of fill it out a little bit. In fact, I even dropped in some housing because I kept getting uh, an employee shortage uh, warning with everything that was up in here. So, it really is a nice little statement piece right at the entrance to Pangasus Bay. And you can stand up there, watch all the cruise ships go by, maybe have dinner or something along that line, and uh, just take in the beautiful vistas. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a blast. Oh, it was so much fun. And uh, I can't wait to do, to do the next one. We're going to start building out this part of town as well. Now, just as a reminder, we are a small but growing channel. And if you saw something that you like today, make sure to leave us a comment below. We really do love hearing from you. And also, while you're at it, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right. With all that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.